Hello ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, welcome to VGU Gaming, I'm your host as usual, Don the Expert of Coles from VideoGamesUncovered.com, your home for all the news, reviews and opinionated articles that you could wish for. And today we have something big, apparently there is some Hubble Bubble Toil and Trouble happening in League of Legends recently, ever since the rework of Master Yi, and that's what we're here today, we're here to preview for you guys Master Yi, his complete rework, as well as, apparently, What's been happening of League of Legends of late that's been causing people to get really, really angry? Well, before we get into the anger issues, let's have a look at Master Yi's brand new ability set. Starting off with his passive, Double Strike. Every fourth consecutive basic attack, Master Yi strikes twice. The second attack uses an attack damage modifier of 50%, but applies on-hit effects fully and can critically strike. Double Strike's counter resets if Master Yi has not dealt or received damage in the last 4 seconds. As you can see there, the second attack does have a damage modifier onto it and applies on hit effects. Many people are saying that this is one of the potential abilities that could be causing Master Yi to be way, way, way too overpowered. But of course we'll be getting down to that part a little bit later. What do you guys think about the double strike? Next we'll talk about his active abilities, let's start with the Q, Alpha Strike. Master Yi becomes untargetable and leaps to strike up to 4 enemies, dealing physical damage to each and dealing additional damage to minions and monsters. Each bounce will target the nearest enemy that has not yet been damaged. Master Yi reappears at the initial target's location after the effect ends. Alpha Strike can critically strike, dealing additional physical damage equal to 60% AD. Basic attacks lower the cooldown of Alpha Strike by one second. So basically you're wailing at your opponents, you use Alpha Strike, you wail at them again, Alpha Strike's cooldown goes down, and then you're able to spam it again and again and again. This with a com combination of items like Zephyr that will give you a little bit of cooldown, that is pretty damn boss. But is it too boss? Next we'll get to Meditate, which had the biggest nerf of all out of the entire Master Yi set. Let's have a look at it quick. Meditate. Now, Master Yi channels for up to 4 seconds, restoring health each second. This healing is increased by 1% for every 1% of his missing health. While channeling, Master Yi reduces incoming damage. However, the damage reduction is halved against turrets. So, although he is cutting damage, that damage from turrets is still going to be pretty darn boss and effective. So, Meditate is no longer the boss. I'm, not, I'm just going to stay here and tank all the time and regale my health ability. This is now the quick, heal myself and get back in. Wham! See, I think Meditate is actually the most balanced ability of his whole set. Next, we have Wuju Style. It's been changed about quite a bit. First off, for passive on Wuju style, Master Yi's attack damage is increased by a percentage, ranging from 7, 9, 11, 13, and 15% when fully ranked up, which is which is reasonable, nothing nothing too damage dealing there. But I think it's the active that has a lot of people concerned, and this is what it does. Basic attacks deal bonus true damage for five seconds. Afterwards, the passive bonus is lost until Wuju style is off cooldown. And this true damage has 10, 15, 20, 25, 30 when it's maxed out, plus an additional 20% AD ratio, depending on what rank it's at. This is pretty crazy. For one, you're giving us true damage. That's crazy enough because quite a few champions have true damage, but it's not too overpowering. But for Master Yi, I think this is where the overpowering attacks come from. Because if you look at it, it's true damage with an AT AD ratio on top. If you're going to have quite a substantial amount of AD and attack speed to back this up, Ruju style is going to rip people apart when it's activated. My opinions, by all means, let me know what you guys think on Ruju style. And last but not least, we have Highlander, the ultimate. In its passive, champion kills reduce the cooldowns of Master Yi's other abilities by 18 seconds, and assists reduce it by 9 seconds. This now means the Master Yi does not have to activate Highlander 
to get his abilities back super quick. That's pretty crazy, but it gets even crazier when you see this. For 10 seconds, Master Yi gains increased movement speed and attack speed and becomes immune to movement speed slows. While active, Champion Kills and Assists extend the duration of Highlander by 4 seconds. That, in conjunction with Highlander's passive, in conjunction with Ruju Styles active, in conjunction with Alpha Strike, that is pretty crazy. And in my opinion, Master Yi is completely and utterly overpowered at this point. The rework is nuts, and too nuts for that matter. I've spoken to a lot of people on the League of Legends circuit, both in the US and in Europe, and they're pretty much all saying the same thing. They hate Master Yi when they go against him, but love Master Yi when they play as him. It's really bad. This is pretty unbalanced, and there is actually a bit of news to cover about this, because apparently Riot Games know about this situation. Quite a few people went onto the League of Legends forums and there is a forum post simply known as I think I've seen like one or two games where Yi hasn't got fed, where quite a few people were talking about the whole Master Yi rework thing being incredibly powerful. And strangely enough, one of the Riot game employees, no other, none other than Morello, the lead content designer, came out on the forums to state this. We're looking at some Yi fixes currently and want to get them in for 3.11. I'd like to have some direction locked by Monday. Unfortunately, we did not meet one goal we'd hoped to. Better in rank high ranked games and not as stompy in low ranked ones. This is still occurring, which means Yi is in beast mode for a vast majority of players. This is very true. He is in beast mode for a very vast majority of players. He is too good and too just powerful. He is just too all round powerful for this setup. He's supposed to have a new emphasis on AD and being a jungler, being able to come in and assassinate people, but with this set, he is assassinating people and steamrolling people like never before. This is crazier than APE, or could potentially be crazier than APE, we're not quite sure. This obviously means that there will be a nerf coming out when it comes to patch 3.11. Will this nerf be a huge nerf, or will this nerf literally balance out Yi so that he is the perfect definition of an AD jungle assassin. Personally, I reckon that that nerf will kill Master Yi for a little bit. I reckon they'll nerf him way too hard and then they'll find it really tough to balance him out again. But hopefully Riot Games know exactly what they're doing. They're going to get on the ball with this. I pray that Master Yi comes out really well balanced after they've looked at him. And I really hope, because I'm a big fan of Master Yi, and I just want to play as him, but I don't want to play as him when he's this overpowered, let's put it that way. Well, and that, ladies and gentlemen, is a quick preview of Master Yi there and his rework from League of Legends. Upon all of that, I would love to hear what you guys have to say about Master Yi's rework. Do you like it? Do you not like it? Do you think he's overpowered? Do you think it's just a couple of people rage quitting over a Master Yi again like they did with AP Yi? Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Be sure to check out www.videogamesuncovered.com for all your news, reviews, and opinionated articles, and even more stuff coming your way. And until next time, guys, I'm going to see you on the other side.